Hey everybody, what's going on? Jimmy is Promo here, back again with another awesome video. And in today's video, we're gonna cover an update that happened to Bixby. So this way you'll be able to open up third-party applications or even use any type of quick command just by using the button of Bixby. Now you'd also be able to set it up to where if you press it once, it'll open up that application or run that command. Or if you press it twice, it'll open up Bixby itself. And as always, if you do a press and hold, and then this way you'd be able to dictate it and tell it what to do. This last update rolled out in the last 48 or 72 hours, and you'll notice that multiple Bixby applications will be a part of this update, such as Bixby Wake Up, Bixby Service, and Bixby itself. Now, if you're looking for this update, make sure you head over into your Bixby home, and if for some reason you don't have your Bixby home activated, just do a pinch to zoom on your home screens, make sure you turn on that Bixby home, and then on the very top right over here, or in this middle, you'll see that settings icon and go to about Bixby home. And then this way you'd be able to see if there is a update. Now, if for some reason it does not show it there, you are able to head inside of your application tray. The very top right hand side, click on those more options and head to Galaxy Essentials, which inside of here, just simply search for Bixby or Bixby Home. And then this is where you'll be able to see if there is a update. And then this way you'd be able to have these different customizations of the Bixby button, which we've all been waiting for for quite some time. Now there is other third party applications you are able to use to basically reroute this button to anything and everything you wanted, which one of those videos was my past videos in the past talking about BX actions. Now what you're able to do with this update is you can set it up to where one button press will open up any application on your phone or even run a quick command, or you can set it up to where a double press could open up a different application or open up your Bixby. So going through all of these setup processes, once your phone is updated, what you wanna do is you don't wanna go into basically your Bixby home. What you would like to do is head inside of Bixby itself. And so for me, it is a double press. When you see this screen here, which is gonna be your little uh, profile image there, you're also gonna see the Bixby icon and the keyboard. This means you're in the right spot. So on the top right hand side, those three little dots, you're gonna go inside of here and head to settings. And then underneath settings, this is where you'll see the option for Bixby key. Now on the last uh, update, or if you did not update your phone yet, you'll see two different options. It'll open Bixby with either one press or two press, but that was it. This will give you the option to where it'll open up Bixby with one single press, but then the double press will open up a different application. Now, because I don't want Bixby to open up on the first press, I'm going to choose the second option here, which is double press to open Bixby. And then right here for the single press, you can either have it open a application or run a quick command. So if you hit on the settings button over here, you can choose any application that is on your device. And then this way you'd be able to pretty much run whatever your favorite application is. So if you want to press the button once and open up YouTube, go for it. If you want to press the button once and go to Instagram, you can also do that. I have mine set up for the Google Assistant. And then this way, if I ever was to press on that button one time, it takes me to this page here. So this way I can type something out, tap on that little mic to speak to it. Or usually I always go to this spot right here to read what is going on in the world of news. Now this is what I look at multiple times a day. That is why mine is set up with a one press of the button going to the Google Assistant. Now, if you would like this one to go directly into being able to speak to your Google Assistant, which is very similar as if you were to tap on this mic icon here, then uh, my buddy Brett over at Tech with Brett will be uploading a video showing you how you're able to do the workaround. So then this way, if you press the button once, it'll go directly to that small screen so you can start speaking to your Google Assistant. So I will place his channel right below this video. And whenever he uploads that video, I'll also place a link for that video if you guys wanted to go through it. For me, I am actually really happy with having my regular Google Assistant, um, but if you want to go just one step further, um, check below the video. Whenever his does upload, I will update um, pretty much the description below this video. Now, some of the other things you are able to do, let's say we go back inside of Bixby itself, go back into settings. Um, let's go down to the Bixby key. And let's talk a little bit about run a quick command or run whatever you would like it to do. So one of the things is, is maybe if you arrive home, press the button once or twice, however you have your setup. And if you select this option here for I'm home, what it'll do, at least for my device, is turn on the Wi-Fi, turn on Bluetooth, as well as setting the ringtone to a specific volume and setting my alarm for 7 a.m. the next day. 
If you'd like to create a brand new one, go to Quick Commands. Here is My Commands where you can add more. There's also recommended ones that you can use as well. And let's say you go to My Commands, you wanna hit on the plus button. Um, let's say that for this one, you can just say, just for the sake of it, let's just put in the word uh, movie. And then we're gonna add in a command. So you can either select a command that is already preset. Um, so maybe if you wanted to play with something with your alarm or timer, you can choose any of these that is already pre-made um, or you can make your own or say your own. Um, so really you can make your phone do multiple things such as some of those recommended ones as you've seen, you know, maybe turning on Bluetooth and everything else. Um, other than that, you can have it just say a command or type a command. So if I press on the button, you know, maybe one time and I want to give my phone a command, I guess I'll just type it. Um, maybe we can do uh, change. Let's do brightness to 40%. So now what's going to happen is if I hit on done, I hit on save. Now what we're going to do is for the settings, we're going to go back down into the Bixby key. Uh, for the single press, I'm going to have it run a quick command and I'm gonna have it just do movie, even though I can make it do multiple other things. So now what's gonna happen is if I press this button one time, Bixby is gonna basically state to change my display. And as I've just did that, you can see that there's another update. So now I'm gonna update this service. So sometimes as you play with this application, uh, it'll tell you to do different things. So I thought I updated everything. I updated about four or five things, but here is that Bixby basic commands. Uh, so you, you might actually run into this. So I'm kind of glad that that popped up. So now I'm gonna press on it one time and then it should change my brightness. As you just saw right there, it moved on its own. So how about I move it? Um, I'm gonna bring it really dim uh, and then maybe I hit the button one more time then you're gonna see that it moved it right back up. So if there's any really easy things that you always do on your phone, you can make it run its command that way. So now double press, going back into Bixby, going back into settings. Let's go back into the Bixby key. Uh, for the single press, um, we're gonna go back to opening my Google application. So this is just a really simple, fast video letting you guys know that there was a update going on with this. So this way you can set it up with one press will do something, a double press will do something else. And as always with Bixby, you can press and hold and you can tell it to do anything and everything you want it to do. Um, and it's going to listen and do it for you. Usually when I press and hold on the Bixby button, it's because I'm usually calling somebody. Uh, it just makes my life a little bit easier that way. So I hope that you guys have liked this video. If you guys did, please give this thing a huge thumbs up. Write a comment below the video of what you're setting up your Bixby buttons to do. And again, if you are interested going one step further with that button press of talking to your Google Assistant, I'll link you to uh, Tech with Brett's video. Once his gets uploaded and up on the internet and shown to the world, I will place that link below this video just because it's not my cup of tea, but it could be your cup of tea. Other than that, make sure you guys hit on subscribe. Subscribe right over here, this little bottom left-hand side, that little red circle. You can hit that circle to subscribe. Share this video with your friends and family and social media sites, and I'll see you guys later.